hey hello everyone so welcome back to another video so this video i am going to be talking about how to clear the aws exam so i am going to share the exact ways which i i uh, used uh, during my preparation for this exam so aws provides many uh, certifications so these are uh, kind of like a main exams uh, provided by them so anyone who is going to be uh, starting with the aws i would suggest them to uh, prefer prepare for this cloud practitioner but i'll anyway recommend them to take take up the any of the associate exams first because i don't think the cloud practitioner is going to be uh, that much uh, helpful comparatively with uh, associate so that's what i learned from my experience so i did not write the cloud practitioner i directly wrote the developer associate so without any uh, further delay let's jump into how i clear this exam so i also have a blog for this particular topic if you are interested you can check the description so for clear the, clearing this exam uh, you need to take at least third, uh, 47 uh, marks like out of uh, 65 questions you need to uh, get at least 47 questions right so you'll be given uh, 130 minutes and if english is not your native language you can get an additional of uh, 30 minutes extra the cost for this exam is, was about uh, on free dollars when i when i wrote i don't know exactly how much is it now i'll uh, leave a description for for you to take uh, to check how much uh, how much it is currently so i think this website should show us how much it is they are charging now uh, yeah it's still the same it's 150 usd okay and these are the uh, topics that are being covered by in this exam and you can take a look at this so how to register all those things i have uh, uh said this said it in this uh, blog itself so you can take a look at it and then so now comes how i prepared so let me go to this uh, google sheet so the resource which i use is uh, there is a uh course in udb uh, by stephen so uh, he covered a little like uh, everything in uh, uh, aws uh, developer associate exam so what i did is i wrote a uh, google sheet so this is exactly the google sheet which i, which I used so these are all the services that i use and i was like very specific how much time i just want to monitor like each and every services how much time i spent all those uh, things i don't know for some reasons i do i did this uh, so i think this is going to be useful for you so these are the amount of time that i spent and if you see here this is a test that i took so first test i wrote it in the unibe uh, course itself so once the course of course was over they have a place where you can write the test so so this is the thing so you only if you prepare for the exam by tutorial so you are so you are not going to clear this exam so that's for uh, sure uh, so uh, it doesn't matter if, even if you are experienced if you are not experienced so i don't think you will be having uh, you'll be having the chance to work on all the aws services right so that's the uh, key here so uh, even i have uh, before writing this exam i have worked on a few other services for so there are also few other services which i, I have not worked so that's the uh, key here so what i did is i wrote this udemy test, test first and then there is a website called skillsert pro so this is the uh, takeover for you so this website uh, has uh, almost like uh, almost near uh, to the exam so the questions provided here will almost be like the actual exam so that's a uh, uh, cool part here so the the course which i took it should be somewhere yes i think this is a setting so developer associate so you can take you can purchase this so it it is like 1500 rupees indian rupees but if you uh, compare it with the exam cost it is not nothing so do a good thing for you just buy this course and uh, you should be good to go uh, uh, i what i would say is once uh, watching the tutorial if you feel that you are confident enough to write this uh, exam i don't think that's a good idea so just write few tests like if if you see here i wrote 23 exams before writing the actual exam so i failed almost like in top 14 tests i failed like almost uh, 75% of the tests so once i scored like consistently above 75% and only then i uh, scored the pass mark here i think i scored like 93% here so so that's the secret here there's nothing like secret so this is a straight away tip that i give you so if you want to clear if you want to clear this exam just uh, buy a course and you do me don't sp- spend that much time learning uh, 
all the tutorials just write this uh, practice exams again and again and again so the key part is when you write the main main exam directly so you will not be able to pick the uh, exact keywords so once you write these many exams so once you see the questions you know this is the main um, keywords that is required to answer this question and you will your eyes automatically sees that particular keyword and you will write so the amount of time that you save also is a major thing here so if you are directly uh, going and writing this exam i think i would have scored this 56 marks <laughs> that's uh, that's a honest uh, opinion from me so if you feel this video is helpful uh, just leave a comment and and i hope this video is going to be helpful for whomever is going to write this exam so i wish you all the best and let's meet in one of the video bye